Hey Stampers, Gainer again and I'm coming back with this beautiful Art Nouveau style card. For some reason my hugs are, just keep trying to fall off if it's hard to held on with dimensionals but I've decorated the inside, left the space to write. Uh, I just think it's absolutely beautiful. We've done the pointed arrow cards so I want to cut these off. I saw something very similar on uh, Pinterest then I just thought why not stick them back on. It, lovely stands up beautiful uh, I also put the piece that I cut out on the back you know and stamped my um, name on the back as well but uh, how beautiful plenty of space to write your message to someone you can even use the inside and so easy to make top folding card so in the US yours would be 11 by four and a quarter so you would find four and two and one eighth it through the center first of all i'm just going to fold it ours is uh, four and one eighth by eleven and three quarters so we're just going to basically fold it in half it's so simple perfect i'm going to grab myself a little ruler and i'm going to flip it over and I'm just going to find our centre. Ours is 2 and 1 15th. Yours, like I'm saying, would be uh, 2 and 1 8th. And then with this, I'm not going to draw even. I'm just going to grab my trimmer. And from corner to point, and then the same on the other side. So. get the corner right in the track line and the dot and just trim that off don't throw it away though we need that and then we can put a dot in there this time perfect and chop that off absolutely fabulous get a little rubber then just rub that little marker perfect so there is the front of our card and these are gonna get stuck on like so you could open this up as you could put that on the corner if you wanted to have it up higher There's so many different ways you can have it I mean it's entirely up to you now so we're gonna have a play but I'm gonna need a piece of designer series paper which and, and this I haven't used a single die uh, stamp set on this yet I've just literally used the dies and apart from my stamp so I'm using a piece of this gorgeous paper which is from the Simply Elegant I think it's called uh, that is for the inside of the card and for the back for that section but you could save that section if you didn't want to add it to a card and use it on another project it's entirely up to you I'm using the um, celebration dies, which is the second one in from the smallest. The hugs, it comes from this beautiful stamp set, send in hugs, and it's just this beautiful, beautiful stamp. And I'm just using the die. Where is it? Ah, in the machine, ready to cut out. So let's just do that quickly while we're here. I'm using black cardstock. I did try gold and against the gold didn't look uh, so good so I changed my mind and I used uh, the black as well because it goes with the paper you could use white you could actually stamp that stamp and then cut it out it's entirely up to you how you do it but it's just so simple Ta -da. and then you've got this beautiful word comes out absolutely stunning I'm gonna grab my if I can find it yeah I can my little sponge and my brush Get as many bits off 
as you can. Yeah, they had one or two to poke through, but. Let's have a little pokey poke. It comes out. Just absolutely gorgeous art deco cards. Steampunk and all that, absolutely beautiful. So, I don't normally come up until the night, but it's a lovely Sunday afternoon. We just had a nice roast chicken dinner, absolutely stunning. A little bit, oops, there it is, poking some of the bits still, just making sure they're all out. That's got it absolutely brilliant, perfect. There we go, and then I'm using this beautiful paper that comes free with the celebration when it comes out absolutely gorgeous nice and thick really nice and thick you get eight sheets of six by six and I was lucky enough to get two so let's cut this down to size my card front was four and one eighth so I'm going to do three and seven eighths perfect pop that back in there and I'm going to do this by five and five eighths I'm not going to throw that little piece either oh we need to trim now we need to find the center of this so three and seven eighths so oh right so if it's four so it's two so come back that one and it's there so let me measure that for you again <laughs> you know I can pick up let me just check that is one and three quarters and a 115 ah no I've got it wrong there look okay you need it wrong so Three and seven eight, so one and a half and one, two, three, it's that one then, is it? Two, no, it's that one. Let me rub that out. And it's the one it's one pa a notch past one fifteenth before the two. Let's check that. One fifteenth before the two, yes, there we go. What we got there in the end. And again, I'm gonna pop that on the corner to that mark. And slice that off and then the corner to that mark and slice that off there's your gold pieces for the front of your car so these you might have to trim a little bit off these actually because they're Oh no, they're perfect, look. Perfect. And this piece. Perfect. Love it. And then this section 
is going to get glued on there. Absolutely love it. Oh, wow, that was stiff. I would say I'm going to use a little bit of tape, I think, as well for the side pieces when I attach them to the front because the first card I did perfect absolutely gorgeous you could leave a card like that I mean that would still stand up you know but uh, adding these two extra little pieces on you're not wasting nothing Yeah, it comes with the stamp and that. I don't know if it cuts that out as well. It cuts some of it out. It doesn't cut it all out, look. But absolutely gorgeous. And you've got the words hugs. So you could cut that out and then layer it on top with a different colour. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, I never thought about that. Let's get these glued on. Perfect. Just going to give that a rubbage on the back. These little black bits on my desk are doing the head in here. <laughs> and then who doesn't like a little bit of art deco? Perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. Now you can decide. Did I do it that way? So they're off the sides. Lovely. You could even glue them down on the inside and just literally have the centerpiece coming up. So there's so many ways you can do it. Like that. But instead we're doing it like this. I'm using the tip there and the tip there. To control because you don't want too much sticking out. And then that tip on there to go to there. Perfect. So I'm going to add a, a, a little bit of tape just in the center because it take, needs a little bit of tape as well as the, as the glue. So I'm just going to flip that over. Okay, too. Where have you gone? There you are. And if you've got any, we'll just flick it with your finger. Right. I come back now and put the card straight. So the tip of this bottom card here to that cramp. Ouch. And then this one again, the same way. Tip. Perfect. Now I'm going to add some more tape on the those. As well as my glue. Perfect. Just wanna I can glue down to there. And 
again. I'm just going to line that up. Press that down. Give that a chance to go off. The, the glue, uh, this tape just gives it a grip while the glue is set in properly. Absolutely love it. Then I'm going to add some small dimensionals. I can find them. There we go. I got small dimensionals. And just place them in areas where you can. Can't see them. Perfect. I've got one more down there. And I'll put one more just down there. Let's just have a look. If you can see them through, just push them in a bit. Oh, wait there now. I've got some black dimensionals somewhere. Never thought about that till just. But I haven't pressed them down too hard. Let's see if I can take them off. Come off. Just use my glue rubber. we go pop them back I've got some black ones there we are I've got I add these Much better. Doesn't matter if he's well. You don't want him to be seen, but it doesn't matter if you do get a little bit showing. Perfect. That's better. I only just remembered I got that. <laughs> so tape can go back now. Off. Stomach's rumbling. My oh, hands come off altogether. Get that pressed down now. And what I'm going to do as well, I'm just going to put a little dot of glue. On each one of those so they don't come off. And I'm putting it up a little bit higher this time. I've got some black gems here as well. And I just pop one there, there, and there. I'll put them on the insides this time. I'm going to add extras on this one. Just place them ones like that. 
absolutely gorgeous. You could stop there now, but I mean, I'm going to carry on. And I'm going to have. I'm going to add this little strip. I'm going to add it at the top like I did with this. I added uh, a thin one. I had a thin strip there and I added it, but this seems a little bit. I know why, because I didn't trim that off first. Does it matter? Waste not, want not. Shall we say? Paste that in there. Roughly in the centre. Now, my designer series paper has come from gonna get hidden in it so I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a quarter of an inch off just a fraction perfect and then that's gonna go in there oh look at that perfect perfect and then I'm just gonna pop this through and the center you could do it sideways pens but you're still going to get the same space so I'm going to pop mine in like this try and keep the same distance just pop that through the same width that's perfect you could do either way I love the gold on this and it really does set off as an art deco piece then let's get that little swoosh so you don't have to put that piece on the back if you don't want to. I just think it adds to the glitz to it. You know, perfect. Or you could have stuck that on the envelope. Anyway, it's up to you. Right, let's see. I did have it length laid. Roughly either side. Just make sure it's straight. Perfect, and then my little stamp with my name on, that lovely call I got for me. Perfect. There it, and we are, the only stamp we've used is that one. Absolutely beautiful. Love, love, love it. I wonder if I could uh, squoze that up there. No, never mind, it's only one little piece, so. So that's from the celebration dies. The second one in. Absolutely beautiful. You could add some sprigs if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. I'm gonna put that back in with my designer series paper. Because you never know, you can use them on other cards. Just to add inside as a little bit of a little special touch. There we go, I'm just gonna pop this away. You could add a nice bow, maybe in black. And like Art Deco style. But there we go, there's the one I made earlier. Uh, I'm gonna glue those glue dots down, those dimensionals down. And there's the one we've just made together. Uh, I mean, you could pull that down a little bit to hide the white, but it doesn't really make any odds to me. I just absolutely, I love it. There's plenty of space to write. And it does stand up beautifully. And there we are. There is that gorgeous, beautiful Art Deco style card. I hope you like them. I hope you give me a thumbs up. That'd be great. And take care. I'll see you next time on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.